Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm here to do a preview of the NRI 9s for 2015. Uh, the game's actually on Saturday 31st of January and Sunday the 1st of February, and it's once again in Auckland. It's the Auckland 9s, obviously. Now, I'm going to go through them pool by pool. It's all going to be one big video, but um, so I don't know how long it'll go, but uh, I'm not going to go through individual teams, like, over every player in that, but uh, we'll go through my thoughts on um, some of the teams and how they're going to go. So we'll start off with... Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry about the pronunciations of these, because... I'm not really familiar with some of these, but I think it's called the Ren Rangitoto Pool, something like that. And it's got the Parramatta Eels, it's got Manly Warringah Sea Eagles, the Newcastle Knights, St. George, Illawarra Dragons. And where I'm actually reading the teams from is from LeagueUnlimited.com, so shout out to League Unlimited. Um, they're really good on Twitter and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, shout out to them. We'll start off with Parramatta Eels. Looks like they've got a fairly uh, strong side. Hopawati, Red Rajra, um, Israel Flower's brother, Corey Norman, Sando. People who, you know, I think they've, I think they've got a strong side. Um, I think last year they had a, you know, similar sort of side, and uh, they're in the Bulldogs group, so I took notice of them in particular, and they were the best out of that group, I think, um, which had the Broncos who ended up playing in the final. But um, I think in the '90s, it's, you know, you need to get a little bit lucky as well as being a good side. But this Parramatta Eels side, I think it really suits the the Nines. Um, Hopawati, you know, he's pretty strong, he's pretty built. Um, you know, he's got decent speed. Red Raja should carp it up. I think Takarangi is a good player for this sort of um, this sort of game. He's very agile, pretty big. You know, you, you know what I'm saying there. Um, yeah, overall, pretty good side, and I think they do, they fit the nines to a T. Move on to Manly, uh, Cherry Evans and Kieran Foran, two good, two great players. I think they'll carve up this NRL nines. They're not the you know, tr I don't know, I don't know what as traditional sort of nines player is, but I suppose it'd be like the Sean Johnsons and the Sam Tompkins and that. They're not really one of them, but, um, you know, I think they'll carve it up. Should be able to, you know, just have a lot more space, a lot more stuff to work with, so I can really see them going really well. Um, they've got a lot of youngsters on the side, so I'm not really sure how some, some of these guys would go, but they look like they have a decent enough side, can, you know, put a bit of a challenge out there for some of the teams like the Eels. I'm moving to the Knight side. Um, Sione Mentatio is in the side. They've got Chanel as well. They've got Pat. Um, so we've got three of them. The three ones who are at the night, so uh, remains to be seen whether they'll all be on the field at once, but I think that'll be quite cool. Uh, Jared Mullen carved them up last year from memory until he got hurt. I think Tyron Roberts really fits um, the nines. Uh, I think I think they've got a good side. And, uh, I don't know how far they'll go. You know, uh, they probably won't progress out of this group, but uh, it's really hard to say because it's such a different game. Uh, and, you know, we've only seen one nine, so I, I really don't know how it's going to go, but this is just guesses from what I'm saying, but. Yeah, I think they're, on paper, they look like they have, you know, a bit of a pacey side, pretty mobile side, just what you need for this game. And the last game of that group is St. George Illawarra Dragons. Now, I think this is the weakest team out of uh, out of all of them. Um, they do have Benji Marshall, who in previous years would be ideal for this. I don't know how he's going to be now, but I'd say, still say he's going to be a great player for it. Uh, Etzo Nabuli, I think I want to see him play. Um... He probably won't be one of those lads who will play like actual NRL first grade, but the nines on here might be perfect for him. Um, a Joel Thompson, someone like that, would be really good in in this form of the game. He's you know he's quite quick. He can play center, he can play second row. Um, you know he can put some hits on. So I think he he work really well with the nines. Um, also Josh Dugan, really inter interesting to see him back there. I don't know if they actually play a full on fullback, but just him getting involved, that'd be really good. But Dragons last year, they'll be looking to make up for, you know, their, their last year's performance because they'll shit last year, to be honest. Played a full-strength side and they'll crap. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, my prediction on who's going to go through out of those two groups, I'm going to pick um, Eels and Manly to go through. I think they're just too strong. But, same time, this is nines. Anything can happen. You just get a little bit of luck. Someone drops the ball coming out and, you know, you've got another try pretty much. So, anything can happen. Got to move on to the Waiheke pool. I don't, I don't know the pronunciations, but... Anyways, we're going to move on to them. It's got the Melbourne Storm, North Queensland Cowboys, Penrith Panthers, and South Sydney Rabbitohs. This looks like a really hard pull just on paper. We're going to start with the Storm. Um, looking at their side, doesn't look like a great side, to be totally honest. Um, I mean, they, they haven't got any Slaters or Smiths or anything. I really I don't know how Cooper Cronk, any of them, will actually go on the nines, but looking at their side, it's quite young. I can see Cora Betty carving them up, carving up players or teams on here. Um, but really, apart from that, you know, they sort of look like a young a young side. I don't really know too many other players here. But uh, we'll leave it at the Storm because I don't really know too many players. Moving to the Cowboys, they're 
defending champions, the only champions there's, there's ever been. And just off the top of my head, right here, Michael Morgan, O'Neill, Moga felt like you can see why they won it last year. I know it's not the exact same side, but they're all around. They're just great, a great team. Even Tamalalo, Cooper, uh, even their forwards are like built for this. So they're going to be hard to beat this year. Um, but to beat them, you know, they're going to need a great team. And Panthers, uh, move on to them. Uh, they have an okay side. I, I suppose the more I look at it, the more I say no. It actually looks really shit, to be honest. I don't really know who these people are, apart from uh, Sikamanu and Kevin Kingston. I thought Kingston retired, by the way. Oh, no, wait, they can still play in there. Don't worry. Scrap that. Um, Panthers, yeah, not a great side. Coruscant might go all right. Kieran Moss. I don't know, Kieran. Oh, is he the fullback? Yep, he's the fullback. Um, yeah, I don't think Panthers will progress. Move on to the Rabbitohs. Uh, Bryson Goodwin, Dylan Walker, Matt King's back for this, which is uh, quite interesting. He's going to see a few players come back for this, and Matt King's one of them. I don't know how he'll go, but surely he couldn't have lost too much in that year or two he was off. Adam Reynolds is playing, George Burgess is playing. Um, you know, they've got quite a few first graders playing. Carl Turner's another one. Uh, McKenna's played a bit of first grade last year, so they should do all right, Rabbitohs. I don't see them winning it, but I think they should have a pretty good fairing. Um, Dylan Walker especially should go quite well on this. Chris McQueen should go quite well. Isaac Luke in the squad is their captain. He should carve up. Um, Adam Reynolds should be able to just put some pinpoint accurate kicks there. And then George Burgess, saw in the grand final, he can just run past everybody. Um, great player, George Burgess. Only problem for them is last year they lost Kiri for a good part of the season through this. So they might be a little bit skeptical and a little bit wary of um, going all out just due to injuries. But if I had to make a prediction on who's actually going to go through in those two groups, I'm going to go with the Cowboys and the Rabbitohs. It wasn't actually as hard as what you know I thought it would have been once I read through the sides. Um, this group here, the next group, it is a uh, Hunua pool, I believe, and I think the win is going to come from this one. Um, personally, so I'm going to go with Canberra side. We've got Sam Williams, he's pretty good. Croker, actually no, Sam Williams isn't really good. Uh, Groga should go pretty well in this. Sizzle Wong will go well in this. Um, I don't really know any of other players. I know this Ken Nagers. Uh, I haven't seen him like personally because he's sort of before my time. But from what I can gather, he was a pretty good player. But inter interesting to see just how he goes in this, considering he's a bit of an old lad. Uh, I know he's like I think he's a trainer with them or something. So that'll be quite cool. Uh, I think it's just the novelty of it. Same like Fitler. They're not going to carve up, but be quite cool to see some of the old timers back. Uh, overall, I think they've got an okay squad for this. Actually, no, they, they, they don't really. They're not a bunch of youngsters, but it might give us a, a look into the future for this year for Raiders, see who some of these youngsters are and if they're going to be able to make the progression towards first grade. Um, next up, going to be looking at my favourite, my person, like who I think is going to win, and that's New Zealand Warriors. I mean, all he has to do is explain Sean Johnson and um, Sam Tonkins in the side. That's it. That's really all it needs to be said. That that good. Uh, plus this year you got Manny Vadavai who's also there. Just they're so good. Um, Simon Mannering's even playing. It looks like they're sort of going all out with this. Ryan Hoffman is playing his first game for the Warriors. Um, even Matthew Orwood from like he was from the Raiders last year. Their team suits this game fully. Like no one else can even compete with this squad on paper. Um, obviously last year didn't didn't work out for them in the end. But I think they sort of just got a little bit unlucky. Pressure maybe got to them this year. I don't think so. I think they're going to carve them up. Move on to the Titans. Um, and it actually is a pretty good side for this. Uh, you know, it's a pretty strong side. Uh, looks like they've gone sort of all out for this. Maybe they need it. They need some money. So, um, you know, that could be why. But uh, they've got Will Zulman there. James Roberts should destroy this. Like, he should he should be the best player by far in this. Uh, he should be right up there with Johnson. Anthony Don's another speedster, me's a speedster. Josh Hoffman goes all right, should go all right in this. Brad Ty's a speedster, Fire Fire Low, another speedster. Season Mortimer should go pretty good here. Um, Kieran Mosley's another speedster, like another Seguero. Um, four pack is a little bit iffy, but Dave Taylor's playing. Um, and Lachlan Burner, he's an okay player. I don't know how he goes fully, but um, people had wrapped him at the Bulldogs, so I'll, I'll take their word for it. But Dave Taylor, if he lives up to his potential, he could be monstrous in this tournament. Just have any of those speeds. they got a billion speeds in this squad. Just back him up. James Roberts, just stay around him. And, you know, he should score a few tries just from that. So, expect Titans to go quite well. Whether they win it, I don't know. But still, my pick is New Zealand Warriors. Last team of this group is the West Tigers. 
and they don't have the most impressive side, but they probably have a pretty okay nine side. Not a lot of names, but I think they'll go all right. Charrington um, seems pretty good. I think he's a hooker. I can't remember, actually. Um, Chris Lawrence is there. I don't rate Chris Lawrence anymore. I don't think he'll go that good there, but Kevin Guam is there. Um, Tim Simona is another good player. Actually, really, looking at the team, I don't rate them at all. Uh, scratch that. Um, I, yeah, I can't see them doing that well. Uh, I think last year Tedesco carved up for them, so no Tedesco this year. I can't see them going very well. So I'm going to pick Titans and the Warriors to progress from that group. And the last group is the Pihar Pool. I don't know the pronunciation, sorry about that. And it's got the Brisbane Broncos, Kendall Bankstown Bulldogs, Cronulla Sutherland Sharks, and the Sydney Roosters. Now let's move on to the squads. So Andrew McCarthy captains the Broncos. Looking through their side, you know, it's okay. Greed Eden is the new signing from England. Uh, they've got Alex Glenn, who should go pretty well on this. Moranta should go okay. Milford should carve up. Um, the Nicarima brothers, if if there's a good side, everyone says they should carve up as well. Um, you know, overall, they've got a pretty pretty good side. Um, you know, can't complain. Move on to the Bulldog side. Um, it's, you know, it's a pretty strong side. It's a lot better than last year's side, put it that way. Um, if you look at look at the the plays here, Damien Cook's pretty mobile. This is a Bulldog supporter, by the way. Um, good to see Leecher get a run. He should go okay. Mercer Zumbai did pretty well last year. Uh, he should go all right. Josh Morris, uh, he's returning from an injury over the offseason, so it'd be good to get him, see him have a bit of a run out, um, but should also add a little bit of firepower into the squad. Sam Parrott played last year, played pretty well. Um, Tyron Phillips, another speedster. I'll say Frankie Pritchard and Tony Williams are in the squad as well, so they should really carve up, just run over everybody. Um, Aiden Tomlins, the workhorse of the side. Also got Kerner Serona and Corey Thompson there. Um, Corey Thompson did play last year and he played okay, uh, but I'm expecting big things from Curtis Serona this tournament, so um, should be pretty good. I'm back in the Bulldogs uh, to get out of this group, probably. But we're going to move on to the Cronulla Southland Sharks. Looking at their squad, Luke Lewis is the captain, but I believe he's been ruled out. I'm not sure who's coming in at this stage, but let's just uh, move on from him. Valentine Holmes should go pretty good. Fecky's a good player for this. Jared Bill should be decent enough. Latelli should be okay. Um, Jack Bird seems like a good good player. New Brown went pretty well, and he seems like he would go pretty well in the nines. Kyle Stanley, if he can make it through one game, should be okay. Takatisi is probably one of the best forwards for this game. Um, pretty quick, so he should you know should it fit it to a T. Blake Ashford, don't know how he's playing. Nathan Gardner, he's another one that fits this game to a T. So steppy and senior strides against the Roosters, incredible in open space. He should have plenty of it. Um, but yeah, overall, their squad, it is a pretty strong one. Um, all over the board, like that. They don't really have any real weaknesses, I'd say. Except for, oh, Matt Pryor, he's a weakness. But apart from that, like they do have some really good nines players. So they should have a pretty good tournament. At least have a competitive squad. Moving to the last team, it's Sydney Roosters. Look like they're taking it a little bit more serious than last year. Um, I suppose that's probably because you know, they had to, they come off the back of winning the title last year. So um, move on to their side. They've got Mitchell Olsen, who I really rate him in terms of like, the nines. He's very versatile. He can play in the forwards, tennis, he can play everywhere. Should go well. Kane Evans, he's, pr he's pretty okay. Good player. Jackson Hosey should go really well in this nines. Um, Semisoni Lange should go pretty well. And then A. McDonald should carve up. Uh, he's another good outside back for them. James Maloney should go really well. Um, I expect him to sort of go like Mitchell Pierce last year, but P Pierce is also playing it. They should make a good combination. Um, Willy Manu. Wow, Willy Manu. Is that the dude from Super League? I think it is. Um, you know, he should go right. Um, who else have they got? Two of us are Sheck. He should really carve up. I'll oh, say so they got Jared Weir Hargraves playing. Um, I think Roos has put in a pretty competitive side, in my opinion. I um, would expect them to go pretty well. Um, all this, these these four sides here, Broncos, Bulldogs, Sharks, Roosters, I think they're the pool of death, the, the Pihu group. Uh, I think any of those sides can make it out of there. I'm going to back the Bulldogs because they're my team. And I'm going to say the Broncos will come out. I think Milford should be able to go pretty well. Um, and I think because last year, they'll just be able to go off the experience from last year of making the final and that. And um, yeah, but don't take my... Like, all this is gospel. It's just an opinion. We don't really know what's going to happen in the night. It's so hard to predict. We've only seen one of them, so... Uh, we don't, don't know exactly what's going to happen, and I don't know if some of these players will fit it. Some of them some of them will, some of them won't. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Hopefully, you have enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a long one. Um, rambled a little bit, but not to worry. Uh, I think the gameplay is just Rugby League Life 2. 
Um, Rugby League Live 3 is coming out soon. Don't think the nines will be in that, but it's a bit irrelevant. That's where I'm going to end the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave in the comments your predictions for the NRL 9s 2015. And, uh, yeah, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and uh, tweet me on, um, give me, send me a tweet on Twitter. My username is, or, um, what's the proper word? can't remember my Twitter handle, that's the word, is at Mr. Luke on YT. So, uh, there's that. And uh, I, might, I might tweet um, while the game's actually going. And I will do some, like, review videos of the days slash, like, the whole thing or whatever. Whatever I feel at the time. But, yeah, enough of that. This is where I'm ending the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.